Hi everyone, it's Lisa and Luna from Don't Run With Scissors, back with another Technique Tuesday. Uh, I just wanted to wish everyone a Happy New Year. And this is a uh, video is a bit different than anything I've done in the past. Not too different, because it's still Technique Tuesday. Uh, but this is actually one for my mom. Uh, I purchased the We Are Memory Keepers stamp positioner for her for Christmas, and I was never able to give her a tutorial on how to use it, and being a thousand miles away, and not using FaceTime and being on the phone. I decided why not do a video. Maybe people out there who purchase this themselves are questioning how to use it, so I thought I would uh, do this for her. So the purchase that I made actually came from an HSN bundle on craft day not too long ago, and it comes with the stamp positioner itself and five stamp sets. These stamp sets are layering sets uh, so that you can interchange your stamps and your colors uh, to make some pretty pretty nice uh, images for yourself. It also comes with six inks. We will talk about these inks uh, in, in a couple minutes, but uh, it does come with six and uh, they're nice and small and compact for the package. So this is the stamp positioner. It has an acrylic door or top, however you really want to call it. And it also comes with a grid line base. Uh, it's plastic. And it does have a ridge here because uh, it's going to hold your paper in place so that you can line up perfectly each time you use this. There's also a little rubber foot here on the acrylic door so that when you lie it down and you push your stamps, um, it, it creates that uh, perfect image for you. Those of you may have grown up using the Fiskars stamp positioner where you would have your paper and you'd move all around until you were happy and push up and then come back through and try to line it up again and, and push down. This is really the same thing except it's a lot more precise and compact. Uh, this is the equivalent to the Misty stamp positioner. Uh, the Misty is three times more expensive than this piece on its own. This piece did come with the stamp set and the ink, so the price difference is a bit different there, but th this piece on its own is a third of the price of a Misty. However, the Misty does come in three sizes. I believe one is four by six, one is maybe eight by eight, and then the other one's larger, 10 inches or 12 inches. I'm really not too sure. I do not own one. Uh, this was the first stamp position I purchased besides the Fiskars from a while back. So that is this item. And then you do come up with the five stamp sets. And each one of these, we have butterflies, we have flu, uh, a rose, we've got some type of thank you or hello. This is a camera, and these are presents. So there's four stamps in each one, and they do come numbered. Now, it also comes with these inks, as I mentioned before. These inks, I'm not too sure what they are. Um, I'm assuming they're a water-soluble ink, and perhaps not the best if you wanted to go in and color or layer your gel pens or your glitter pens on. So my recommendation is um, if you have other stamp pads that are dye base, uh, you might want to use those. So your Memento inks, uh, you did just, Mom, you just got this black one for Christmas. And also um, these stamps that we got with our little embosser uh, from um, Spectrum Noir, our crafter's companion. So these are dye base inks as well. Um, but in the end, again, if you want to add your, your gel glitter pens, uh, these ones from Spectrum Noir, uh, you will want to use an ink that can handle it and not bleed. Uh, so your Wink of Stella's, your uh, gel rollerball pens, all of those you want to use a dye base ink so that you don't drag uh, this through. This ink will bleed. So if you're just going to use the ink and do your stamping, this is perfectly fine. If you want to add a little glitter and pizzazz to it, you want to, want to up the ink status. So let's get started. I am going to use um, these little inks that came with our crafter's companion so that we both actually have the same thing, Mom. And uh, so we'll use these. And I have a, my scrap pieces of paper here. And I'm going to open up my positioner. And let's do let's do the presents first. Since this was a present for you. Now each one of these is uh, the stamp. You have stamp one, two, and three. You're going to start with the lightest ink first. 
G is what they call the positioner. If you want to use it. So those of you out there that have it, you may or may not want to use it. It's all entirely up to you. Let's make sure I have this going the right way. Okay. So the positioner, all three of these stamps can sit inside here. So I'm going to put the positioner here on my, on the bottom. So it's sitting in there, inside. It's lined up with my, the square here. I have my raised pieces that are going to go face down. And it's just going to sit right inside that positioner. Personally, not a fan of the positioner. But we'll, we'll play the game first. So I'm going to close the trap door. I'm going to pick up that stamp. The positioner is going to stay in its place. I'm going to take the positioner off, put in my scrap piece of paper, and like I said earlier, we're going to do lightest to darkest. So I'm going to start with um, aqua, and I'm going to stamp. Now on this stamp, it only had two raised surfaces, so I only have two of my spots covered here. I'm going to close my door, and it should create two squares. There you have it. If you were unhappy with how it looked, you can go back in oops, and stamp it again. All in up to you how happy you are. It will also make it darker. So, clean your stamp off. This is just water and a Lawn Fawn stamp cleaner pad. You can use baby wipes, you can use paper towel. Uh, these are all water soluble, so you can uh, clean with those. And then we're going to go to stamp number two. And I put my positioner back in. And you can put that piece in. Close the door. Take the positioner off. And let's go in with our second color. And let's do... Let's do purple. So now we're going to pick up on this one, some polka dots for our two existing boxes and two more boxes. Again, if you're not happy with the coverage, you can go back in. You don't have to, but you can. And let's do it one more time. Okay. And clean, clean the trap door. So those of you out there that have never seen the Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois, it's crazy cool. Um, it retains its moisture for the most part if you keep it in a secured location uh, so that it can do that. And it uses water. So a lot of people will tell you that using your any type of cleaning products on your stamps will eat away at the plastic. I use baby wipes, doesn't matter to me. But I have moved on to this Lawn Fawn chamois and I love it. So the third stamp on this set is the bows. So I have my positioner in place, my guide as it were. G is for guide. I've picked up my stamp, I'm going to remove my positioner. And we're going to come in with, I guess maybe we'll just come in with black. And this one I'm actually using a bigger memento pad. I'm covering the whole area quickly. And there you have it. Little presents. They're so cute. Clean that off. Okay, so now the beauty to this whole thing. Let me put this stamp aside. is that you can do this multiple times as you want. So I'm going to do the butterfly real quick. And I, this time, I'm going to skip using the guide um, because I'm not a super huge fan of it because it kind of gets in the way. Uh, but if you're more comfortable with it, then by all means, you can do that. I'm going to stick my paper in. I'm going to pick up butterfly number one. and put it on my paper where I want it. 
Now, if you were doing a bigger card and you wanted it smack dab in the middle, that's why you have the guides. You can put those in yourself. This I just have scrap paper. This is my butterfly. I'm going to do some greens on this one. Come in and close the door. Again, lightest colors to darker. And I'm going to make two. So I put this one aside. And I'm going to come back in. And close my butterfly. You don't have to push hard. It might look like I'm putting some effort into it. Clean my stamp off. Now with these stamps, if I'm not using the positioner, these stamps also kind of have their own little guide in them when you're lining up. So you can kind of notice the holes where um, the wings and the stamps are. So if you take a second on your own, you don't need to use the positioner. If you want to use the positioner, you can use the positioner. So now I'm going to do some dark, um, let's do purple. Now this is the second butterfly I made. Add in my purple in. And because I want to go back and make two, all I had to do is swap out the paper. And away we go. And if you again, if you're unhappy with the colors, and you want it darker, come back in. And you can do that. And then last but not least, we have the third layer. Clean you off. Real quick. And now we have to put our detail in. Again, if you want, you can use the positioner or the guide that they have. Or you can line it up with your stamp. And this time I'm going to use the big memento again. And this is going to make the outline of the butterfly. And there you have it. So if you want to make it a little darker, so good. That's better. Let's swap out. Make sure the little antennas get done. And now you have your butterfly. In your packages. So like I was saying before, if you do want to add some pizzazz or fun to it, I have a glitter pen here. You can just add some sparkle. Because it's a dye-based ink, it's not going anywhere. You can see that here. Come into your butterfly if you want to add some stuff to his green Or is purple. You can do all that. You can do the whole wing. It's not going anywhere. That's the beauty of these inks. So you probably can't see the shimmer too much. Maybe just a little bit. And I did the top purple one. So that is what you can do with these. Um, there are other sets out there that do have stamp layering. I have one right here from Sunny Studio. Uh, this is a layering for an ornament. Uh, some of them are very helpful and give you directions. Some of them do not. This is why the stamp keeper, uh, the memory keeper of one, uh, you know, with the outlines and the numbers is just super fun. Um, but again, if you're going to be doing these, it's lightest to darkest. Um, and I guess I'm going to have some time trying to figure out my bell here, what color I want to do that. Your bows. Um, so here's the bell right here. 
super fun set. Uh, in case you've never seen it, Jennifer McGuire did a great video on it. And uh, have some fun. So that is the We Are Memory Keeper stamp positioner. Uh, I hope anybody checking in uh, enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, again, not a huge fan of, of the G stamp. I kind of think it's a little flimsy and gets in the way. Uh, but if you're just learning, uh, very helpful to have such an item. Uh, so if you have any questions, drop me an email. Give me a, uh, give me a call, Mom. And I hope this was helpful. It is super easy. You can see how you can manufacture things pretty quickly or do the same thing over and over again. And I think that is all for the day. So Luna and I love you very much, Mommy. And we will talk to you soon. Everyone else, have a great night. Thanks.